by bending a circle is no longer a circle. It is a triangle. It is. Is the circle bad? We want it to be. Make it a square. Make it a circle. Make it a triangle. Make it a diamond. But it still can re exist. By bending it, you break it in the way because you change the circle. Yeah. So that in itself is the one though. I can see the way there. Yes. But. It, yeah. One way is just conversation, no sex. That's one way. But again, if he does not, you will ask yourself, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Maybe. I uh -huh. know him. Uh, I know him too much that I know where he stands. Yeah, but you right. You know him so much that you already know what he would do, and then you wonder why everything is boring. <laughs> yeah. Now you're getting familiar with looking and seeing ahead and how boring it could be, or you can make it interesting. How yeah. to make it interesting? Well, change it. <laughs> and that they say by if you knew the future, you would change it. Because it is no fun. <laughs> yeah. What you need is a multi man. Yes, I know. You need him to be funny, and for that, he needs to know you. Even if he does not know you and is funny, it only means that you're tuned with him, that you are in the sameness of the resonance, so you already know each other from somewhere. But you don't want him to be boring, so he will be funny. The thing with those you meet that make you laugh and resonate with you is that they are already familiar and will know you faster and quicker than the rest, probably more. That's why you meet some people after a couple months and you know them and they know you more than with those that they knew for years. Yes. <sighs> You need them to be funny. You don't want to know him or him to know you so much that everything will be predictable. So you also need someone that will change and will be creative and innovate. And the thing about those who innovate and make new things is that they're not steady. They're always on the move, always moving, always creating. So you also need, at the same time, someone that will be stable enough to stay with you and tend to your needs and listen to you and conversate with you. But you have to know that those who conversate and have feelings are not usually very physical and sexual. So... 
you also need a man that is physical and sexual. But by that, it also means that he will have to be a little bit violent, a little bit moving, a little bit passionate, a little bit harsh, which contradicts most of the others. At the same time, you want somebody that is smart and knows what he's doing and what he doesn't do, and that means he will have to be open eyes and know about sacred geometry and things in order to have interesting things to offer you. But by doing that, you're wondering and asking about somebody that will see ahead in your movement and thus be boring, which contradicts most of what you said before. Hmm. That's brilliant. <laughs> that will be tender and nice and sweet and caring. But you like muscles and strong appearances and imposing persons, so you need someone bigger. Knowing that those who are bigger will usually take more space with you and occasionally crush you when they're sleeping without knowing so. Then, what do you truly, truly, truly want? Oh my god! <laughs> you need an Oscar for that. <laughs> I already have one. It's called Be Me. <laughs> oh my god. So what do you suggest? Am I hopeless? Hopeless case? <laughs> what do you think you are? I can I can see him. Yeah. Cos, are you there? Yes. Yeah. You wish for someone that is very vibrant at the same time, but you would, what you would say, freak out. Imagine someone that will be around at every turn you make because they already know where you're going to be. After a couple of times, you will wonder if you can have any privacy left. Or if they're so perfect, they are going to feel bored because guess what? They can see everything around you and about you. Of course, conditional love can be applied, but then again, it will look like a task. They will feel like they need to ascend and go see other things and do other things. Then what? Yeah. But that's like every woman's dream man, <laughs> I guess. Yes, and this is why somebody in particular is on the run. On the run? Ah, just a joke, forget about it. I didn't get it. No, it's okay. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> 